Ooh, what's going on guys? I'm Jake, the Offensive Gamer, and this is The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. I've been keeping track of this game for probably about a year at this point. Uh, I'd have to say, when I was first starting up the channel, I was looking up different like little indie games that were upcoming in the next year or two. Um, and this was always on every single one of the lists uh, of like ones to keep uh, keep track of. It was really early in development at the time. Um, and there wasn't really very much going on with it, but just the title itself, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, sounded like an interesting concept. And when they had the new trailer come out about a month ago, I was definitely intrigued. And to hear that this is the first game I think that they have released since like 1997, uh, The Astronauts, which are the one, uh, is the developer who made this title. Um, I was a little bit concerned, but uh, after having seen a little bit of gameplay of it as well, um, I'm definitely intrigued. It's sort of a uh, detective sort of game um, with a supernatural element. Uh, I've heard a lot of people give the kind of um, comparison of like a first-person murdered soul suspect in a way, um, except just more atmospheric and a little bit more uh, scary, I guess. Uh, originally, I thought this was a horror game that, uh, you know, had detective sort of elements, but it's actually a detective game that has horror elements from everything I'm reading. Um... Yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and just get it started, and uh, let's see what it's all about. I played a little bit to see how the graphics were. Ethan Carter I didn't know, but he knew who I was. When the police won't help you, and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Alright, well it seems like we're already, you know, getting right into uh, whatever's going on here. Um, as you can see, this uh, has amazing graphical fidelity, and it runs very well um, for the settings that it's currently on. I don't have it at maximum, but it's very close. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with, with how well it's optimized. Um, uh, whoa, uh-oh. Well, hello there. This is one thing that, that I, I read about, how uh, the detective that you are, whatever, uh, Paul Pros, uh, what was it, Paul Prospero, I think is how you pronounce his name, has these um, abilities, these supernatural abilities to kind of like, uh, what, what is it, kind of piece things together in a different sort of way that, uh, you know, that of the average person could do, as you can see right there. Oh, shit, okay, that's what that does. But yeah, obviously we're getting right into the shit. By the way, I think I said in my recent update video that I was planning on having this game, you know, or playing this game with a uh, face cam, and clearly I'm not doing that. And uh, the reason is, you know, pretty simple. It's it's correlated with the fact that when I came to the realization that this game actually wasn't just full on horror, and it had a lot more story elements to it, and it was a little bit more atmospheric than it was. Uh, whoa, shit requiring like scares and things of that nature. I didn't really see the point in doing a face cam. It just did it just felt kind of you know like it uh, didn't really serve any purpose. So uh, obviously I opted not to do that. I, I look at this game as obviously it's not nearly the same thing but more of like a title like thief uh, to some of you and I know there was a decent amount of you who were brought in through that series and I didn't do face cam for that because once again I didn't see the point. Um, in, hi in hindsight, I kind of wish I did do face cam for the Asylum uh, section of that game, but, you know, whatever. It's not haunting my dreams or anything. Okay, so these uh, traps that are set throughout the woods, I guess they're a part of some sort of 
mystery that I'm trying to unsolve here. Not exactly sure what or why these traps are set up here. Oh, um, something that I remember doing in uh, Murder Soul Suspect uh, as well as L.A. Noir, um, because you know, considering they're both detective, like kind of piecing things together type games, is that a lot of the times I would kind of have this sort of monologue in a way or describing my thought process on exactly what I'm thinking at that at that moment um, and what I think is happening. And I think that's going to be a consistent thing that I do throughout this series. Um, a, because I feel like it might be interesting for you guys to hear what my thought process is. And on top of that, it, it helps me kind of, you know, put things together myself. It's just, it's, it's something I enjoy doing. Where the f is there another trap somewhere? Let me see. Because I, I did, I, I do, or I am aware of how this mechanic works. Okay. I, I don't know. Maybe that's all of them. All right, whatever. I think I already went down here, but I apologize if I have, and I'm sure that's frustrating. But I, I wanna, I wanna explore. I wanna be sure that I haven't missed anything. You know, that that's I think how I'm gonna do this title. It's just I'm gonna be more explorative than I would be with a lot of other games, just because I don't want to miss anything. Because that's something that you know it, it even suggests that in the opening sequence that you know it's uh, not gonna hold your hand. So I'm preparing for just that. Alright, so we got uh, train tracks, it appears. And obviously a bridge. What the fuck is that? Is that pollen? What is that? Actually, this is starting to look familiar. You know what? Yeah, shit. I, okay. Red Creek Valley. Well, one second. It seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Why are you getting old? You want to retire? Well, as I was, I was, uh, I was gonna say, I, I remember seeing um. On the astronauts channel, uh, YouTube channel, they they posted a couple of videos on astronauts, and I recall seeing one. Uh, and I don't remember very much about it because it was a while. It was like probably about a month ago, or or so. I don't remember, but it was a decent time ago to the point where I don't remember very much about it. But I do recall this this scenery and uh, this landscape pretty well. Yeah, there's the train. Yeah, I remember this. Okay. So, it could be... Okay, blood from an animal, human... Accident, murder. As you can see, like, it's this little feature that's kind of, like, bringing up different possibilities. That there could be fresh scratches recently used. And I remember this, too. I, gotta, I think I have to line it up. Like, just find the right... There we go. Okay, so I need to find that crank. All right, clearly it's right at the, uh, you know, right at the shore. So I gotta find that. Ooh, what's in here? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I know what that is. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta put the crank on the train to wind it up. I think it's right, yeah, right there. Um... And that'll start the power up, and then I can move the train, I suppose. Um, something I, something I that really resonates uh, in my mind from that video that I saw was that it makes the point that, yeah, there's blood on the train, but there's no blood in this immediate area to go with it. So that indicates that this is not the exact place uh, that this collision occurred. So the body is most likely not down in the river or lake or whatever. Uh, it's most likely somewhere on the tracks, and obviously it didn't go in reverse, so it's going to be down here. Now, this game was about $20, so I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to be. I would probably judge roughly five, six hours. 
Maybe uh, give or take if, uh, a couple. But somewhere around that region. So um, I'm going to try to get my my um, money. My, ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was about to be a mumbling motherfucker right there. I was going to say, uh, going to try to get my money's worth out of, there, uh, out of the game. Okay. So we got a rope, it appears. No blood. Okay. So I gotta find all these different clues, piece them together, get everything right. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Jesus Christ, that's rough. Okay, so. What a possibility I think that could have happened, uh, or at least this is what what runs through my mind as I was watching the video at the very least, was that this guy could have been tied up or something like that, or somebody could have attacked him. Um, you know, maybe some sort of mob dispute or whatever, uh, tied him to this, uh, you know, these train tracks, and potentially just like took off or something like that. He managed to get out of it. And, uh, he crawled to the tracks. Or through the tracks, but, well, I don't know. I don't remember what I was thinking, to be honest with you. It's kind of pointless. But obviously, the train ran over his fucking legs. I think that one's pretty clear. I need to get more information before I really piece shit together. Here's the guy. Blood from legs. Fractured skull. I think I think he died from blood loss. Personally, I I have to say, looks like blood loss. <laughs> uh, maybe his head hurt a lot. You know, he probably could have used like some you know aspirin or something. But I'm going to guess from the <laughs> from the fucking hundred foot long trail of blood that I I think that might be might have been what caused his death. Just, just me. Just the indication that I'm getting here, but... Yeah. Alright, so we got gasoline here. In a rush, on purpose. So perhaps somebody was trying to escape. Or run. Okay, so maybe the whole mob thing might be what it was in that case. Or not necessarily the mob, but somebody was intending to kill this guy. But why would he have gasoline, though? That makes no sense. Like, the whole get, trying to get away in a hurry makes sense, but... Yeah. Okay, so dried grass. Maybe the, they poured gasoline. No, clearly not, because there's no residue. And this is, you know, it's still leaking. Oh! Got it! Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, the rail car. Because, yeah, no sun, so it was on the grass. Gotcha. Alright. Let's continue. Try to figure out what the fuck's going on here. It's very pretty. Like, not just, like, the graphics itself, but just the environment is very pretty. Just like the different colors, you know, kind of an, uh, an autumn sort of feeling to it. Yes, it's a rock. <laughs> it's like rock, rock, rock. Well, it's not a rock. It's, okay, it's a hole where a rock should be. Okay, so the rock that I'm looking for is right next to a tree stump. Uh, seems to be some sort of pole. There's a big tree across from it. Huh. Yeah, I'm not getting much from that, but we'll figure it out. Clearly, okay, so it's somewhere on this side. Oh, shit, I, I didn't realize. I can run. Was oh, that it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we got a rock with blood on it. Maybe that's what they, uh, the guy used to, um, hit the other guy on the head. You know, blunt force trauma and all that. 
So I guess I gotta put the rock on this area. Where it belongs. It appears that is the case. What am I missing? There's something that I'm missing. What the fuck am I missing? Oh, the crank. Right. Okay, so I gotta go down to the river, or river, the, the shore of the lake. And I gotta find this crank. Alright, so it's probably somewhere, yeah. I, I wouldn't see how it couldn't be somewhere over here. Oh, there it is. All right, well, this has blood on it as well. That's a little bit confusing, actually. Why? Hold on. So there's blood on the rock, but there's also blood on the crank. Did the guy hit him over the head with two different objects? What, do you think that was just going to be funny? Like, I don't know. It's like, this rock really isn't doing the job. It's just not... It's not cracking his skull enough. Ooh, a crank. A big metal object. I think that'll work perfectly. I think that, yeah, definitely. This is going to damage all of his brain cells. Perfect. Well, whatever. We're going to go ahead and put the crank on the front. Um, and I guess... Why would we need to put the crank on the... F I mean, I understand putting it on the front, but... Why, though? Like, we... Uh, and it... Hmm. Alright, so it's on now. Obviously, that was the off button. This, yeah, this goes back and forth, so I am supposed to move this. Where am I supposed to move it to, though? That is the question. Oh, there's a little bit of lag there for a second. Oh, do I put it on, like, the play? Okay. All right, that, that would actually make a lot of sense. Kind of hard to tell whether or not I'm like exactly on it. Looks like it. Nah, fuck it. Close enough. Why does it need to be there though? I mean, I don't know it needs to be there, but I'm assuming it does. Huh. Let's check this guy out. Alright, well. Whatever, yeah, no, fuck it. Oh, it's, okay, so I'm supposed to, like, hmm. Before I say anything, I'm, I'm gonna just let this unfold in front of me, just to be sure. Alright, so what do these things do? Ah, gotcha. So these, yeah, and so that's why the train... Well, it's not there anymore. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's why I needed to put the train there. It was kind of to piece the, everything back together, like, perfectly. All right, that makes sense. So, I got to run into these things. It'll bring them up. All right, is that the last one? It looks like it. Okay, so there's some old dude, it looks like, with a stupid hat on. And then a young guy, the guy who got fucked up. He looks actually pretty young. I'd say uh, early 20s. Probably. The old guy's probably in his... That one's definitely not the first one. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is that Ethan? Bet it is. I'm gonna go with this is number one. Uh, let's see. Go with this as number two. This is kind of what I'm thinking. Like the the younger guy tied up Ethan. Assuming that is Ethan. Um, the old guy was like, "Hey, what the fuck are you doing?" And the young guy was like, "Ah, fuck off, old man." And clearly here, the guy picked up the rock, bashed him over the head with it, so that's going to be number three. So he walks up to the young guy, is like, call me an old man. I'll 
beat the shit out of you, Sonny. It's like, oh, my head. And the train runs over his legs. It's like, oh, my legs. Why did you do that? And he starts crawling. And then the old man and the kid start gang raping him. And then they beat him to death. <laughs> okay, well, I th okay. Well, I don't know what the kid's doing to be honest with you, but I'm thinking that aside from the gang rape part, that I roughly got that right. Let's find out. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Now. Hmm. So that didn't work, it seems. Uh, obviously number one was right, so two was wrong. You know what, actually? I probably should just switch these two. Alright, so I'm gonna go this one, make that next, and that's number two. So, okay. This is what happened. Tied him up. Then the old guy was like, oh, what the fuck's going on? And he grabbed a rock. He's like, just in case. And then he went up to the guy. He was like, hey, Sonny, what are you doing? He was like, fuck off, old man. And he was like, you call me an old man. Bash him over the head, gang rape, and then kill him. Let's go. Listen to me. We can destroy it. Skip the next scene. Gail, honey, I wish there was another way. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Now. I'm giving the sleeper what he wants. What all of us want. Look, old man, you need to go home. <laughs> I, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Called that shit. You all heard me. No. Ethan, run, goddammit. Go. Get out of here. Travis, close your eyes. I gotta say, that's a little excessive for calling you an old man. Just, uh, just, just saying. A little much. Maybe you want to work on your anger management issues. Perhaps. And then this thing's leading me somewhere. I don't know what the fuck that is. Hold up, dude. Just hang on. So we got another Grandpa? thing here. Whoa. Stay away! Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus. I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no. I can't let you do that. Uh-oh. Whatever had turned Ethan's family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. Yeah. Useless old people. Alright, well I think this is a good place to go ahead and knock it off. Because we're around 25 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. But if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe and all that. And I'll see you guys next time. I know how to be incredibly annoying as a cat because I've dealt with one for the past fucking 15 years. That's just... Like, my cat has probably the most annoying fucking meow on the planet. It's just... And he, I think he knows that it's annoying and he does it because of that.